Good morning and hello YouTube. Welcome aboard with Storm Mr. Fury Biker on board Firestorm with a Y. I hope everybody's doing well out there. Keep it safe, rub upside down and legal if you're a fellow biker. I can never overemphasize that last point enough. And what a glorious morning it is this morning. I've got a three day week this week. Really? <laughs> Starting as I always do, the massive shout out to all my subscribers. Old and new, you guys are absolutely brilliant. It's an honour and privilege to have you guys on board with me. So our first big shout out goes to Steve Cannon Sue, Bike Talk Crew. If you're looking to do your CBT A1, A2 direct access and you live in Nottingham and the surrounding area, check out their Facebook page, check out their website. You'll probably see a picture of my ugly mug on their Facebook page from last year. <laughs> when I passed me uh, Full Cat A, Mod 1 and Mod 2. Uh, you know, they're really, really good people. Steve Ken, two of the best instructors I've ever come across. So check them out, give them a shout. First of shout outs, go to the amazing crew at Confuzzled. Rossi Two Wheels, Dash Cam and Two Wheels, Robin Hood Dash Cam. Who likes to feature a lot more videos? Moto Stars, World Moto Stars, UK Moto Clips. Knott's Coast Rider, Arnold Knott, Nottingham Riders, NG Riders, um, who I sometimes ride out with, really, really nice people. Um, Beauty of the Base, that's Amy Ginver, Laura KMA Fursuit, and if I've missed you out, I apologise, please insert your name here. I mean, the amount of people that I'm, you know, putting shout outs to and that, it's taken up uh, a lot more time at the start of my videos. <laughs> oh dear. I'm seriously, honestly, I'm thinking about changing the format of my intro a little bit, you know, to allow for a very long intro. Yeah, well, just cut that, you know, to give as many shout outs as I can without having to. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> well, let's move onwards into the video. It's sort of like a catch-up, you know, so you guys can get a, a handle on what's been going on with uh, the furry biker in this crazy mixed-up life that I lead. It is quite mixed up. So, first and foremost, I actually have now passed my Category A. Well, not Category <laughs> I passed that last year. <laughs> I'm getting mixed up here. I passed me Cat B at the start of this month, so I'm now. I can now drive cars. Yes, I can be a cager. Don't worry, people, I am not getting myself a car. Fuck that bollocks. Only reason, I pass, only reason I got me Cat B is, you know, personal reasons, so I can help out my other half, and also for work. Yeah, that means I can drive the trucks and go out and deliveries and that. Wee! Uh, what else has been going on? Again, you know, my videos have been appearing in compilations and that. And people are getting arsy. Oh my god, it's the phone police again. Jesus Christ, people, you've got to understand this. That, um... It, I make no secret of it, you know, I hate people who drive and text or check Facebook and etc, etc but if my video appears in a, you know a compilation, there's no reason to fucking kick off about the phone police a few weeks ago it was even proven that just because you're rich and famous lifestyle, just because you live the lifestyle of the rich and the famous doesn't mean you're immune from the courts of law, as Dave, Sir David Beckham found out after he got taken to magistrates in London. After a member of the public caught him on camera driving and texting. And as he already had uh, six points on his license for speeding, naughty, naughty, he uh, got hit with six points for using his phone while driving and then summarily hit with a six month ban 
it should be a fucking lot longer than six months if you ask me and a 750 pound fine which is fucking small pocket change to him when you consider how much he's worth and what he earns <laughs> but the you know the bottom line is a member of the public shops him you know so out there there's video cameras on phones there's cameras on bikes helmets and bikes dash cams etc etc so if you're texting and driving you know and you have a go at somebody who has a, has a, a gentle word in your ear there's no use getting wound up them because as the case of David Beckham's proven the police are using footage from dash cams and that to prosecute drivers for using the phones while driving and that is one of the reasons why we tell you to keep your license we're not being arseholes for the sake of being arseholes you know we could so easily do that if we really wanted but no all we're trying to do is keep you phone users safe and also keep ourselves as motorcyclists safe <laughs> Yeah. So David Beckham, he's going to be ferried about everywhere by Posh or one of his chauffeurs. Also, there's a few people been asking, you know, talking about licenses. Yeah, I've got my full license. Why am I still on a 125? Well, there's a couple of reasons, and the most notable one being financial. Because last year when I bought Firestorm, you know, on three-year PCP, personal contract hire. I didn't know that I'd be through my... I'll be straight up and honest here. I honestly thought it would take me longer to get through my Category A Mod 1 and Mod 2. I didn't expect to be through it as quick as, you know, as quick as I was. So I'd essentially fucking bought myself a brand spanking new bike and um look at that on the bike fucking cycling while texting and that's a moron in a compilation i'm just gonna digress here for a moment i had some moron you know have a bash at me in one of the compilations i was in about having to go you know moan about cyclists doing stupid things now, in one of my earlier videos, you know, it doesn't even bother to fucking hand signal before turning. Move into the middle of the road, like. Anyway. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm still on 125. Um, so, yeah. Um, I, I didn't, honestly didn't think I'd be through my full license as quickly as I as I ended up being through it. So I kind of resigned myself, you know, to being on a 125 for quite a bit of time. And, um, got myself, okay, well, it's going to take me an age to get through my Mod 1 and Mod 2. So we'll get another 125. It's going to get nasty. And uh, as I conspired, I actually ended up getting through them unbelievably quick. So now, after having fast all for a year, the hunt is on for my first big bike. And I've narrowed it down to just two. Two main bikes. The CBR600F and the VFR 750. There's pros and cons for each. And, you know, I'd like you guys to try and help us decide, because actually, no. Out of the two of them, I've been, you know, watching videos, reading reviews and shit like that. And I'm looking to sort myself out a couple of test rides soon. And... It's highly likely because, you know, I want to take me another half on the back. And because I'm a big guy, 
Uh, big as in size. No, size as in height. I'm, I'm nearly six foot three for fuck's sake. <laughs> you know, I'm really looking more at the VFR 750. Legendary V4 engine, gear driven cams. And a lot of people say it's the best bike ever made, so it's highly likely that within the next year or so I will be departing Firestorm's saddle and replacing her with something that's got a heck of a lot more poke in the form of the Honda VFR 750. Some people may say go for the VFR 800, but the 800i, the best ones are pre-VTEC from what I can gather. Uh, I need to get out there and do a few test rides, which I will do after Confuzzle, I think. And I'll also be getting Misty back on the road after Confuzzle too. <laughs> so you may get the odd vid where I'm riding Misty again. And you can fucking wait there, mate. But yeah, that's, you know, basically that's what's been happening in the life of the furry biker quite a lot and not a lot at the same time you know and with that I'm going to uh, end this little video here if I don't put a video up next week guys I'm not ignoring you it's because I've not been riding it's because I've been out of confuzzled which is the UK's biggest furry convention I'll probably have a post con post convention report for you guys <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you all take care out there. If you're a biker, ride safe, keep it real, keep it legal. And I will see you all on my next video. If you like what you've seen, throw me a little like. If you've got a comment, you're not going to be an absolute cop, womble, dickhead, wang nugget, fuzz, schlocker, whatever. If you're not going to be derisory, then throw me a comment. And, uh, you know, if you're new to my channel, because, uh, you know, I'm getting new people subscribing all the time. If you're new to my channel, hello to you guys. And um, if you've come here, if you followed to my channel from uh, one of the compilations channels, and you want to be on board for more wacky, strange, crazy videos, vlogs, etc, etc, then be an awesome sport and click that little subscribe button down over there somewhere, please. <laughs> Until next time, everybody, uh, take it easy and see you soon. This is the Furry Biker, Stormus, on board Firestorm with a Y, signing off and saying bye!